Hey nerds, it's Anna. Uh, I am looking at a specimen of Philotopsis nidulans. Uh, the common name for this is the uh, stinking orange mock oyster mushroom. Sometimes people call it the uh, orange uh, mock oyster. But at any rate, it is uh, a look-alike for um, our common Pleuratus mushrooms, the uh, you know oyster mushroom collection of species. Uh, it is a cooler weather mushroom, so it occurs kind of at the same time as Pleuratus ostreatus, which is just this very abundant, very common wood decomposing mushroom that is edible. Uh, so, you know, it's good to get to know this uh, just if you're, you know, getting started and you want to hunt for mushrooms in the Piedmont and cooler weather. Uh, they, uh, like oyster mushrooms, are a wood decomposer. You can see that it's attached to a piece of, uh, this looks like oak. And um, the primary difference, however, is that uh, these mushrooms, besides often having a pretty strong um, bad smell, they also have very, very orange gills. And uh, the gills are also pretty tightly packed in the case of uh, oyster mushrooms. They tend to be more, um, you know, widely spaced and deep and blade-like, uh, whereas these are, you know, very, very close together and they're also not very deep. Uh, additionally, um, oyster mushrooms, they're very fleshy. On the other hand, this is kind of um, almost soft. It has a like uh, sort of smooth fabric feel, like maybe a, a velour or something like that. Uh, the fruiting body itself is, you know, a little bit on the um, sort of styrofoamy side. So again, even if you were going to uh, look at this and think about eating it, it probably texture-wise wouldn't be any good. Uh, this is considered inedible. Um, and again, you know, this particular collection doesn't smell very bad but sometimes they're uh, they earn their common name of the stinking orange oyster mushroom for a certainty anyway um, again you'll see them in cooler uh, temperatures so it's a good one to keep an eye out for you know uh, November through January